hey guys so just installed android 14 beta 3 on this almost four year old device now this is not a pixel or any partner device i simply installed the gsi image if your phone supports project treble you can also try this anyway let's talk about all of that and more like how it runs on this old device so definitely like this video guys subscribe let's begin so first let me show you the software details as you can see here this is running on the android 14 and you can also check the security patch level along with the build which is the beta 3 which is the latest one so let's start with the visual changes first so the lock screen looks pretty good with the big clock in the middle and on top you have the date and on the bottom you have the battery information and notice the transition that looks pretty cool if you press the power button it just fades in and that looks pretty cool also you have new charging uh, animations uh, which are very subtle you can probably notice this on the video uh, as you can see also when you unlock the device it will give you a little bit of uh, the similar animation along with the battery information on the top right as you can probably see here so that looks pretty cool as well also the fingerprint scanner is working fine now with these beta builds we are not always certain however this is working just fine which is really good also with the android 14 now you can enable these flash notifications in the accessibility settings as you can see so whenever you get a new notification you can enable this and the screen will flash like this along with the camera this is already available in some samsung phones etc however this is uh, made available within the stock android roms as well Another working feature here is the Health Connect. Now, this stores all your health data and syncs across uh, different apps that you choose to. So, that is also added in the Android 14 and that is also working on this uh, ROM on this device as well. Another new feature that is added is now you can increase the font size even bigger by about 30%. And uh, you can see this is where you find these settings and I have already modified this. This is particularly useful for older people. Also in the battery settings, now you can actually uh, limit the charging to 90% so that it doesn't really uh, damage the battery in the long run so it can have a better battery health. Also the camera is working fine, however I couldn't find the new permissions manager, something similar to the iOS. Also if you are wondering about the new cool lock screen wallpapers, I just couldn't find them in this build, at least on this device which is disappointing and guys you must understand this is not a ported rom i just flashed the aosp build of the gsi on a four year old device and it is working this good which is itself a great thing and it's only a matter of time that uh, some roms like lineage os would come up with uh, better stable android 14 builds uh, with ported roms that would be really cool for all these older devices and that's the purpose of just showing you a glimpse of the android 14 as a ray of hope all right now to the installation just to give you an overview so there are two builds available aosp and the gsi gms uh, which includes g apps uh, whereas aosp is bare bones so i tried the aosp since the first one did not work with the device so there are two ways to install a gsi you can follow fastboot or the TWRP or custom recovery method. The TWRP method is quite easy. However, things don't always work 100% on all the devices. Uh, in my case, uh, it wasn't working fully, so I had to adapt. So the way I did is firstly enter this command and temporarily install the TWRP on the device. The next step is to just wipe the stuff like Dalvik cache and uh, the system and data and then went ahead with the option format data as you can see I had to do this using TWRP because the fastboot commands were not working for some reason so for the rest I used the fastboot method I installed a couple of files just to make sure uh, there is no issue in terms of uh, booting the device and finally flash the system itself which is the ROM the GSI image and that's pretty much it the instructions are pretty much the same flashing a GSI ROM on any project trouble device. However, you need to do a few changes as per your device partitions and stuff. So this video was just meant to showcase the Android 14 on such old device. So anyway, that's been it for this quick video guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you soon.